Hello everybody, Man 31 back here with another video. And uh, this video I'm going to be just uh, going over some of the pieces of my collection that I don't think I ever really showed because uh, I didn't really have it in my room. I had it downstairs in a box. And I was just looking through and I found these and I said this would be great for a video. Um, these are the WWF uh, um, 1980s figures, the LJN style wrestling superstars. They are really nice and very hard to find in packaging, mint condition, extremely cheap, very hard. Um, but these are some of the open ones. I have uh, five open ones and one in the box. So let me show you. <coughs> I'll show you my uh, favorite last. Let me show you one I have in the box. This is Hillbilly Jim, 1985. Great figure great figure. Anyway, extremely happy to have this in my collection. I've only had it for maybe a few months now, maybe three or four months. It's a really nice and if I ever get to meet Hillbilly Jim, this is getting signed. And let's get on. I'll show you my uh, favorite last. Well, we have a Hulk Hogan. Really good condition for ones you can find on eBay. I've had these. Someone gave them to me a long time ago. Probably about four or five years ago. Well, not really long, but, you know. Hulk Hogan. I'm not sure if that one came with a belt or not. You have Greg Valentine. Another good one. Great condition. No really paint ships. Just around the tights. Just a little bit around the tights. And these are very uh, bendable. This is where the... Classics LJN, which I have a uh, Mankind here, were designed off of. Um, they're the same, you know. You know they don't have joints that move and stuff like that. So great Valentine. We have Mr. Wonderful Paul Wendorf. You know, kind of flex in there. Nice figure again. Not too much. Not too many paint marks. No paint chips on this one. Dio Santana. El Matador. I'm thinking this is from a different uh, series or wave, whatever you want to call it. Because it's a bit smaller, just by like how thick the leg is. And uh, they're really not you put the scale. The boots are different. It's got a little more detail in the boots. Like a pro Yep, there it is. I guess we should have looked at the year on them. 86, 85. So this has got to be the second one. And my favorite, and in great condition, for an out-of-box LJN, Macho Man Randy Savage. Really nice. Really nice. Not... In bad condition. So I thought I'd just show you these. Um, you know, maybe I'll... If I can get them real cheap, I'd probably get one. Some more. The Bret Hart one's nice. You know. But, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Please look at my uh, uh, other videos. And you can follow me on Twitter at, Hab at Habsman31. And you can like my Facebook page, Michael's Wrestling Collectibles Collection. And you can see some of my figures and photos, cards, autographs, and much more on that. Thanks for watching.